now we will understand various kubernetes distributions so this slide is very important and uh, um, i will ask your attention especially in this slide and uh, when i say kubernetes distributions i mean distribution as a platform okay so if you see this picture i have shown you three types of cars here right so the first one is an uber which is clearly visible okay not owned by you owned by someone else right uh, the second one is a, is a private vehicle it can be any vehicle of your choice okay it can be a chevrolet um, range rover hyundai mercedes audi anything and the third one is is a custom built car i mean something which is not normal so some people have uh, an interest to to build their vehicle the way they want to, to show it to show to the world right so this is something diy kind of stuff stuff do it do it yourself kind of stuff or a customized vehicle we can say right so we will understand kubernetes distributions with these analogy so as as we understood kubernetes as the main engine so this engine is present in all of these vehicles right i mean without these this engine the vehicles cannot be imagined so whether it's an uber whether it's your private vehicle whether it's your customized vehicle first of all you should have this engine right available in in the in the vehicle so this is anyway available in all of them but only this engine doesn't make them a complete vehicle right so what is what are those things which are different in these three versions of the vehicles right so your your engine is common but you have a different other separate components uh, which are which are different in all these three vehicles okay so let us understand the uber first so in case of an uber um, this is a kind of least platform engineering effort for you at the same time least flexibility and customizability this means you do not have to worry about the specifications of the car if you are sitting or riding in an uber so you just have to pay how much you use okay and you don't have to worry about the vehicle so the vehicle is owned by somebody else the vehicle is managed by somebody else driven by somebody else okay you just have to use the vehicle and pay per use so the user doesn't have to worry about the platform engineering effort here and at the same time you cannot customize this vehicle uh, as per your interest okay uh, in fact whatever is the facility given by the vehicle you just have to use it okay so no other flexibility so this kind of kubernetes distribution is called as managed kubernetes okay and managed kubernetes are the solutions which are hosted on public clouds so amazon eks elastic kubernetes service azure uh, kubernetes solution and google gke google kubernetes engine these three are the examples of managed kubernetes which is just like uber okay so the user here doesn't have to worry about the platform engineering effort and at the same time a user doesn't have any other flexibility or customizability so uh, the distribution is owned by someone else so owned by public cloud providers or the hyperscalers you just have to use them build your applications around them and pay as per your use now let's move on to the another category so this is the private vehicle category wherein this is a balance between engineering cost and flexibility right however the support cost will be extra so your annual maintenance or your uh, uh, by annual maintenance um, you have to bear uh, the cost by yourself and uh, when you when you go to buy a private vehicle you have some choices right so you have some companies and those companies have built already built cars for you so you can buy those cars and once the car is available with you then you can customize them a little bit not much but a little bit right so the vehicle is yours okay so this is a balance between engineering cost and flexibility 
with with an addition of the support cost only so this kind of distribution in kubernetes is called as distributed kubernetes solution okay and the examples are like red hat open shift vmware tanzu or rancher rke or rancher kubernetes engine okay so these platforms are also available in the market they are either self managed or can be hosted on cloud also so you will find a vmware tanzu on uh, google cloud uh, not tanzu spe spe specifically but you will find uh, i mean uh, vmware based uh, kubernetes distribution on uh, um, google cloud you will find a red hat uh, open shift on some of the public clouds okay so uh, they are coming on to public clouds also but before coming on to public clouds they were available as a self managed solution so you can buy them and then you can download this solution and download this either in your private data center you can host them in your public cloud account you can host them in your private machine if you are a developer or a configuration or a maintenance engineer okay and then use these distributions to manage your containers okay so they give you a little bit of flexibility a little bit of freedom to modify the whole solution to add something into them like that okay uh, you once you buy it then you have to manage it uh, by yourself okay nobody else is going to manage it for you so that's why the support cost will be extra okay the next category is the very specific category which is the do it yourself or customized category okay so we call it diy or custom built kubernetes solution so these solutions require very high engineering effort but because of this you have complete flexibility and customizability for your uh, kubernetes platform so the the support teams uh, which are uh, which should be hired to manage these distributions should have very deep expertise okay they are strictly self managed examples of these solutions are like nokia container solution ncs ericsson uh, eccd and huawei cce okay now you see these are typical telcos and they also have their own kubernetes platform to manage telco workloads container based workloads on telcos generally called as cnfs okay so these solutions are strictly custom built kubernetes platforms they also have kubernetes in the core and the additional components the the surrounding components were were very specific based on the telco requirements okay so very high engineering effort is required to build them okay but at the same time you have complete flexibility and customizability available for you and uh, these are not generally available uh, to, for you to download or to buy okay you have to make specific re request to these organizations if you want these platforms at the same time support teams which uh, which are uh, uh, which are working to maintain or uh, to manage these solutions should have very deep expertise um, into kubernetes and other uh, software components okay so if we see this slide now if i go from left to right okay so what should what will i achieve what will i gain and what will i lose so if i go from left to right that means from managed to distributed and then to the custom built kubernetes platforms i see that i will gain the flexibility and customizability okay so least flexibility here then a little bit more here and most flexibility here okay but at the same time uh, i uh, uh, i should also have uh, i mean if i go from left to right my platform engineering effort also increases that means i should have more technical expertise i should have more technical people knowing kubernetes and its uh, surrounding components if i go from left to right okay so least platform engineering requ effort required here then a little bit more here and most engineering effort required here okay 
and what will i uh, i gain if i i lose if i go from uh, left to right so i should have uh, least technical ability uh, ability required here so uh, the the platform is managed by someone else okay so i do i did not have to worry about the outages the uptime okay even i just need developers i do not need sres or people who manage kubernetes itself so this is being managed by the hyperscalers already so i need less technical people here then a little bit more here and high technical expertise is required in these kind of solutions so these are various distributed uh, uh, not distributed i mean various uh, distributions of kubernetes available in the market okay all of them have a, have a common task to manage your container based workloads okay but with a little bit of difference what are the differences you can understand from this slide now 